back to my channel. My name is Tina, and today we're going to talk about the Grinch palette from Pure. This palette comes in this cute box. The packaging for it is adorable. It has writing all over it, and on the back it tells you the colors that are in here. I love this palette so far. I've been using it for my Christmas looks. It says Pure plus Illumination presents Dr. Seuss the Grinch good enough to steal and then you get this out of here which also has the heart more of the writing and on the back it says the grace's heart grew three times that day then when you open it up there's this super cute mirror and a little wonderland packaging i'm not gonna lie it's kind of annoying for actual usage but it is super cute, and if you're giving this away for Christmas, it is amazing. They do keep selling out of it. They got it back in for Black Friday. I'm hoping they still have it in stock. I know they still had it in stock at Ulta. So cute. Great Christmas gift, and Pure has been having their 50% off sales. You can get it for at least 25 bucks. So the palette itself looks like this. As you would expect from a Christmas palette, it is primarily glitters. Now, the first thing I noticed was this green lipstick. Turns out that green lipstick is not actually green lipstick. Now, depending on how you feel about green lipstick, you're either going, aw, or yay. So it's one of those that turns colors on your skin. On me, these turn to a very bright pink. On my hand, it's a beautiful light pink. On my lips, it turns, it like starts out this beautiful pink and then goes super bright, unless I put a lipstick under it. Yeah, that's kind of annoying because it did that color pink, I would love it. Unfortunately on me, it does not. I thought the green lipstick was kind of cool for Grinch but I do understand wanting to do something a little more versatile for most people. And the other great thing about this is it does stay in there really well. That color is called Moody. <laughs> they have great names in this. The blush and the highlight in here are both amazing. The blush is called Heart of Who. It is just a beautiful pink. You can make those little dots of pink if you wanted to. The highlight is freaking gorgeous. It's called Feeling Frosty. I am obsessed with this highlight. I've been using it non-stop. So there are two full-on glitters in here. Mr. Grinch, which is the green. Look at that. They really do go on nicely for glitters. And then the other one is Naughty, which is the red, which is more of burgundy. I'm wearing this one today. I love this color, so I'm not mad about it, but it, when I first saw it, I was expecting it to be a much brighter red than it is. And this color, Cindy Lou, who down here, goes under it perfectly. These feel like butter. They blend so freaking well. Like, holy cow well. They're so good. The only big problem I have with this palette is there's really only two mattes over here. One is called Cave, and I hope you can see it on my hand. It is a very nice matte brown. Pretty versatile for anybody. I use it to blend out my crease. The other one is called Sly One. It looks like that. It is just a gorgeous matte on my hand there. It looks a little patchy. It's really not when you're blending it with a brush. It's gorgeous. Do be aware with these. You do get some serious kick up. Then we have a Max. <gasps> I have that said ha ha ha. Expect. It looks like that. It is the gorgeous inner corner color. And it's right there. Just absolutely stunning. We have my least favorite color in here called Leave Now, which is this dark blue glitter shade. It looks like that. It does not go on a dark blue. It goes on this black kind of charcoal -y color. I did not like it. The glitter falls out of it. It just, I don't know, I don't like that color. It's my least favorite one in the entire palette. So then we have Who Cares, which is this khaki green color that is holy cow beautiful seriously that shade is gorgeous and you can build it up to a mirror finish on your lid on my hand right now it looks a little more matte than it really is then we have loathe which is a gold shade this gold is like a true gold i have it on my lids today it looks like that and that is like with the lightest swatching ever i can't believe this is a christmas palette the only one that I do not like is that Loathe, which is kind of an interesting name for a color I don't like. The rest of these are like, holy shit, beautiful. So I showed you Cindy Lou Who, but seriously, I need to show you this again. When you put your finger in these, they feel like a velvet. And then it just takes one little swipe, that's it. And it goes on there. 
beautifully. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then the last one is called Boring. <laughs> it's this brown glitter. It looks like that skin. They just go on so well, so beautifully. And this again is a shimmer. You are going to get shimmer everywhere. Like these colors are all over my hands. They're not coming off easily. <laughs> There's so much pigment to them. They remind me a bit of the Juvia's Place Butcher like this, where they're just like butter and you get them everywhere and they just go on for days. Are gorgeous. Usually I hate Christmas palettes. I don't buy them very often. Ones that are geared specifically towards Christmas because generally speaking, I hate them. I find most of the time they have colors in there I don't like and they don't blend well. Half of them don't work. This isn't like that at all. This has got, you know, it doesn't have as many shades and things as a lot of them do. Uh, right now, but I think the shades that are in here are well thought out. I do wish it had a couple more mattes. I have a zillion palettes with mattes in it, so I'm not even going to complain about that. I love this for Christmas. I've been using it for Christmas ever since I opened it. I'm just like, oh my god, I am obsessed. And it smells nice. It smells kind of vanilla-y. Not like overpowering vanilla-y, just like a little bit vanilla-y. These are gorgeous. I'm kind of shocked. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't buy this until it was on sale for 50% off because I really was expecting to go. Eh. If you like the Grinch, I really think you will like this palette. I can understand people saying, you know, it's not as Grinchy maybe as you'd want it to be because it doesn't have as many grains in it. It does have two and that one Grinch color there is gorgeous. And let me know what you thought about that pink lipstick. It looks green. I will admit it threw me a lot. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you thought of this review and if you've got this palette, what you think, because I seriously am obsessed. You're going to be seeing it quite a bit featured in my Christmas series because it is super good. Watch that series because it's been a lot of fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! The thing I love about this packaging, last final thought on this, is you can put that in backwards and you can get that little heart in the middle and it says the princess heart grew three times that day. I love this palette.